one of the relatively new functions to Mark Edit is uh, the ability to create plugins to be used within the application. These are done through um, a variety of methods. They can either be user created or um, myself, I'm creating a number of plugins to fill in functionality that people would like to have, but isn't necessarily something that uh, is probably appropriate for um, general distribution. The way to do plugins within Marquette is actually fairly simple. There are two proof of concept plug plugins. One is a, a batch updater to um, work with OCLC's connection software. The other one is a Biblios.net plugin to allow users to be able to work on that platform. And there's a, another YouTube video to demonstrate how that plugin works. Um, the plugins themselves are managed through a plugin manager. Plugin Manager manages plugins that I create or that are sent to be hosted um, on the the uh, official Mark Edit distribution site. Uh, so let's open up Mark Edit. You can find the Plugin Manager under Add-ins, Plugin Manager, and here you'll see the plugins that are currently available for download and those that are currently installed on your computer. Installing plugins is basically as simple as selecting them and clicking on that they'll be activated the next time Mark Edit restarts. So if we were to restart Mark Edit and look in plugins, we would see that the plugins exist. Generally, plugins only work um, when you're working from within the Mark Editor. So for example, if I was to click on the Biblios.net plugin, we should get a message here saying that the plugin can only be run from within the Mark Editor window. And then we are asked to quit. So if we open up Mark Editor, uh, and click on the same plugin, we see that the plugin boots up, as well as an icon here that shows up within the Mark Editor. That's an option that users have um, creating plugins, the ability to be able to create icons on the toolbar that can be used um, to function and uh, interact with users. Let's go ahead and close this up. Close it, the button goes away, the plugin's closed. Managing the plugins is basically a simple uh, process of just using the plugin manager. Um, if I wanted to remove the plugin, all I would need to do is just check this box and then click the remove button. And now the next time Mark Edit restarts, the plugin will be removed. Um, unfortunately, because of the way that plugins are loaded in the application, anytime you need to update a, pl a plugin um, using the plugin manager, it requires removing the old one and then downloading the new one. Um, so the process to actually upload, uh, to upgrade a plugin requires um, opening and closing Mark Edit twice uh, for the process to be completed. But it's fairly simple and straightforward to do. Um, if you're creating plugins yourself, you can actually create the plugin and drop them into the Mark Edit plugins directory. If you look under these application shortcuts, um, underneath application data, you can see where Mark Edit is storing its application data, and there's a plugins directory here. Within that plugins directory, um, you drop in the, uh, the library file and the configuration file if there's one present, and your plugin will essentially be able to be read by Mark Edit, uh, so long as you utilize the, uh, the standard that's been constructed um, that's available within the, the sample plugins as well as the uh, documentation. Um, so for those people who are interested in using the connection, uh, the connection plugin, um, help the plugin or the Biblios.net plugin, that's uh, that's essentially the way that we manage plugins within Mark Edit.